What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do a video for you and you and you. I hope today finds you in a good space, just mentally, physically, your health-wise, you know? I just hope this video comes at a good time, and if it doesn't come to at a good time, I hope I can say something today that will brighten your day and just brighten you up, your spirits, you know? We're all going through it. We're all trying to get through it. With that being said, would you give me a thumbs up for this video? I think you're going to like this one. I thought I had did this on the channel, but I haven't done this. But this is how I do my canned sweet potatoes, you guys. I'm going to be doing some canned sweet potatoes, candy yams, or whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to show you how quick I do this. I even make them like this for the holidays. I'm just making a meatloaf, you guys. I might do a video for the meatloaf, even though I have a couple of them on there. I might just do a refresher. Um, but I'm going to just do this as one of my sides with some of my uh, cabbage, uh, which is also on the video uh, on the channel, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along because I thought I had this on there. So let's get into it. Like I said, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video, and let's just go, honey. I don't want to be here long for no sides, okay? Mwah. Thank you for joining me. Let's get on down here on the food, okay? It's not gonna take us long for this one, okay? Let's get right over here, put down. Probably seen all my dishes in my sink. Yeah, I'm cooking and cleaning, y'all. But anyway, let's go. So right here, you guys, what I have is I like to take my uh, sweet potatoes and I like to drain them and get all of the ju uh, the juice out. And I try to let them sit out as long as I can to get as dry as they as I can get them. Okay, okay. And what I'm gonna be adding to these uh, sweet potatoes? This is a maybe a. 40 ounce can, one of the tall cans, and then I had one of the 15 ounce cans. So that's what this is. To this, you guys, I'm just going to be adding me a stick of butter. Now, as you do this, you guys, you will see what you like and how you like to do it. Um, you know, the taste you want to get out of there. I like mine to be um, really sweet. I like them to be candied. And so this is just how I do them, okay? And I just take this whole stick of butter and I just go in between here. And I'm going to just be laying out some of this butter, hither and yon, okay? We're just going to put it on here. Ain't nothing hard about this, right? To this, we're going to be adding um, <clears throat> some butter, I mean, not no butter, some um, sugar, y'all. So we're going to be using some brown sugar, okay? I like to use brown and white sugar, actually. And I'm trying to decide, am I going to do that? And I probably will because I like for it to candy. Now, this is two cups in total in this uh, package. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this right down here. You want at least a cup if you got anything over two cups of sweet potatoes, okay? You want at least a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to put a, a cup. And then I'm going to add me some white as well to that. All right, let's get that big old piece right there and break it down some. You want this to, I like mine to candy, and some people just like them to be sweet. One thing about canned uh, sweet potatoes, they will break down more. So um, a good brand is the Sugary Sam's. I think they have more big pieces in there, and they don't have a lot of strings in them either. And so that's the, the brand that I buy most often is the Sugary <laughs> Sam's. They're the ones that's in the yellow uh, can with the uh, I think orange writing on them or something like that and so I'll just come back through this is not something that you know you eat all the time I think the last time I had sweet potatoes it was about a year ago <laughs> so we're gonna put that with a uh, so we got two cups probably I don't even think I did a cup of white uh, but um so we got some brown sugar and we got uh, some uh, white sugar brown sugar is sufficient you don't have to do both now, I come back in here, y'all, with just me a teaspoon or so of some allspice, okay? You have to be careful with this. It has a good, um, a strong taste, so you have to play with this on that, okay? I know how much I like and how much it takes, so I would say a teaspoon of that if you're going to use it. Then I'm going to get me some nutmeg, same thing, about a teaspoon of that, because nutmeg has its own little personality as well. So we don't want to go wild with those. Now on my cinnamon, I want to taste that cinnamon. So I use about two tablespoons or a tablespoon per um, 
per cup of sweet potatoes because I want to taste that cinnamon. I love the way cinnamon tastes in my sweet potatoes. Okay, and then I do a little cloves just for personality, just for bam and bada bing and bada bong. I do about a teaspoon of that, okay? So you see how we just making this turn into something that's just not our regular old smegler, right? So then I come in with about a teaspoon or so of me some, um, of me some uh, vanilla, okay? Just gonna go down off in here. We're gonna put up some vanilla all around off in there, okay? About two teaspoons or so. Just like that, all right? And then I'm gonna come right on back in there and I'm gonna take me some lemon juice. Now this is just the juice of half of a lemon and I'm just gonna go in these corners, down the side, you know, just like this. And then I'm gonna come right on the top just like this. All right, so we're just gonna give our sweet, but I can sweet potatoes some life, give them some personality. So before, right before I put them in the oven, you guys, these are gonna go in a 375 oven for about 25 to 35 minutes, depending on how um, how much you want it to candy. Okay, but they'll be done in 25 to 35 minutes, okay? So I just come with me a, a kosher salt or a rock, you know, a thick salt. Um, a coarse salt, and I just go right on the top, and I pop it just like this, here and here they're in yun again, just to bring all of those flavors out, you guys. And like I said, this is just gonna go in the oven, like I said, 25, 35 minutes, and it will be done. And I'll show you how it turned out, okay? Okay, y'all. Here they are. We are 30 minutes away uh, since we put these in the oven, 35 minutes, and they are just delicious they smell just like a good old sweet potato pie they are just tough enough that if i get me one i'm not gonna break the whole thing down and that's it you guys this is how you make sweet potatoes canned sweet potatoes uh in the oven and they are gonna be just delicious every time you make them i hate to taste one but i hate not to taste one so let me go ahead on and give it a little bite let y'all get a little bite so y'all can go ahead on and decide y'all want to make some. So let's just get us a little one right here. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this coming together of, uh, of this uh, friendship, of this food ship. Lord, I love my foodies, my foodie friends. And I just ask that you watch over and protect us each, each and one of us. God, I ask that you watch over this food. Bless this food. Let it be a nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name we pray. So go ahead. Get you a little bit. Oh, gosh. Look at the juice falling down. Ooh, let me see. Mm. This juice is just going to get thicker and thicker. So I'm just going to let it sit. Okay? So I'm going to give you the first bite. Go ahead. Sweet potato. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It's definitely like something I make maybe twice a year because it's so dang gone decadent and so damn delicious. Uh. Mmm. 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 I have people say all the time, I'm sorry, that they don't like canned sweet potato. And then they've been an eight mine, and then I tell them afterwards, you know, you know, I do mine in a can all the time. But you're doing something different. Yeah, but it's canned. That's right. You just go in there, you make it your own, you guys, and you, and you just pimp it out, baby. Pimp it out, okay? That's what we're going to do over here. That's what we do. We read the ties, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm not going to keep you long. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget your food ain't all the way live until it's been reditized. And I will see you guys on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Love y'all. Okay.